Good evening, black people and all allies fighting for black liberation, black prosperity, and black joy. I'm Charles Blow, and welcome to Prime. Ever since Texas passed a law severely restricting abortion and a law severely restricting voting, there have been renewed calls and mounting pressure to end the filibuster. At this point, perhaps the only way to immediately reverse Texas restrictions and those in other states would be to pass the For the People Act and to codify protections for Roe v. Wade in Congress. But without ending the filibuster, it would be difficult, if not impossible. And Democrats continue to let Joe Manchin and Kristen Sinema stand in the way. The president has not backed filibuster reform in a strong way when it comes to voting rights to heal rights. Biden administration officials argue they've done as much as they can to do unilaterally to protect voting rights and that Congress must now pass legislation bolstering protections. During the Obama presidency in 2013, former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid nixed the filibuster for executive and federal branch judiciary appointments because Senate Republicans attempted to filibuster several Obama nominees. Many opponents who argue against filibuster reform today argue that, that the move led to Trump and Mitch McConnell confirming a record number of federal judges when they took power. But as Reid argued in the Las Vegas Sun yesterday, the filibuster rule as we know it today was introduced in 1917 as a means of cutting off extended and tedious debate. What seemed like an effort to get the Senate working at the time actually became a tool that empowered an entrenched minority of senators to block anti-lynching, voting rights, and other civil rights measures throughout the Jim Crow era. The heirs of their despicable legacy are the Republicans in today's Senate who view any effort to expand or protect civil rights with disdain. It's time Senate Democrats act with urgency that this moment demands and abolish the filibuster once and for all. I got a chance to sit down with former Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid earlier today and get more of his take on the filibuster. Take a listen to what he said. Senator Reid, thank you so much for joining me today. Um, I understand that you are very much in favor of uh, con uh, Senate Democrats getting rid of, rid of the filibuster. Why is that? Filibuster has outlived its usefulness. People think the filibuster is part of the Constitution or Bill of Rights. No such thing. The filibuster was set up uh, to limit debate. It was done during those white supremacy years, U.S. Senate, when they were the pro slavery senators were in control. The filibuster is over, overused its usefulness. During Lyndon Johnson's first six years as chairman of the majority leader. Uh, he had overcome two filibusters. During my first six years as majority leader, I had to overcome more than 100 filibusters. The Republicans have run this into the ground. You can't get anything done in the Senate today unless you get 60 votes. That's not a democracy. A filibuster can be done away with a simple majority vote, and it should be done. I changed the rules uh, during the Obama years because they were filibustering every presidential nomination. So he changed the rules and got it so it took civil majority to approve Obama's cabinet, sub-cabinet officers. So a filibuster is not good for America, it's not good for democracy, and it should go away. So why do you think that the president is not saying what you are saying about the filibuster? Why, has he, why hasn't he come out in a full-throated way and requested or demanded that Democrats do away with the filibuster to advance his very own agenda, which is bogged down by it. Well, I think Senator Biden has been a longtime member of the Senate, 36 years or so in the Senate. He's very traditional, that's part of the Senate. But I was a senator for a long time myself. And I came to the realization that it was not good for America, not good for democracy. The filibuster needs to go away. The president and all of his cabinet officers and all, anyone that cares about President Biden should join in the course and get rid of the filibuster. That's the only way we're going to get that John, John, uh, John Lewis voting rights bill done. All the work that has been done in the House, they've done some great work on uh, making pro-worker 
remedies available to everybody. So it's just uh, long since time to get rid of the filibuster. You know, I understand the institutional instincts to try to preserve uh, uh, mechanisms that that have been in existence for a very long time. But it, do you believe that if the, Repu the shoe was on the other foot, Republicans were in the place that Democrats are in right now, that they would would hesitate one second to change filibuster rules to get their agenda? I don't through. think it would take a second. I think it'd be quicker than that. They would change so it if so you quick. were now the uh, the 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 leader of the, the, the of the Senate, what would you be doing that's different than what Chuck, Chuck Schumer is doing to try to lean on the the holdouts to get them to go well, along? I know that I know that Chuck is I know that Chuck is in favor of getting rid of the filibuster. He said so publicly. He's got a trouble a trouble with a few senators, two to be exact at this time. He's working on that, and I know he'll do everything he can because he agrees that the filibuster is time, it's time for it to go away. So what, what do you think that, that Manchin, you know, what is his calculus uh, in re resisting get, getting rid of the filibuster for anything, really? I mean, he's basically ruled it I, out. I think that... Uh, uh, I think Democrats that Joe's still living continue in the to past. say that they believe that he'll do it, but he says he won't. Well, that's too bad for West Virginia. Any of the things that Biden is doing, Build Back America, for example, would create thousands and thousands of jobs in West Virginia. Uh, Joe Manchin is his own worst enemy, talking about not supporting legislation to do away with the filibuster. So, you know, wh how, how does this impasse get broken? If Manson is basically saying he will not vote to change the filibuster rules at all, uh, Christian Sinema is somewhere in that same camp. Democrats need Manson uh, and Sinema if they are going to push anything through the Senate, because for the most part, on Biden's biggest agenda issues, there is solid Republican opposition. What, how do you break the impasse here? How do you, uh, if you can't legislation, how do you then recruit some Charles, legislation is the art of compromise. Legislation is the art of compromise. And they're going to have, if, if the state of West Virginia and the state of Arizona are going to benefit from the largest that we have in the Biden administration's Build Back America, they need to go along with this. Now they want, may want to change the filibuster rule in some simple way to save face, but they're making a big mistake and they're hurting their states dramatically by not going along with this. Because the filibuster is, look at the history of it. It was, it was blossomed in the years of white supremacists, pro-slavery senators. Uh, and in the years since then, it has meant the filibuster has not been used for anything good. It's all been for bad. We're gonna, we need to move along. As President Obama said at John Lewis's funeral, the filibuster is part of the Jim Crow era. We've got to get rid of it. Do you believe that, that Democrats may have to compromise in the other direction? If Manson is basically saying that he's not going to vote for anything over a, uh, $1 trillion on the massive spending uh, proposal that Democrats have put forward, which is $3.5 trillion, will the rest of the Democratic Party basically have to go along with, with Joe Manchin? Does Joe Manchin basically become the party leader at this point because they need his vote? Well, I think the state of West Virginia is really uh, being hurt very badly if Joe Manchin doesn't change his tune. No, there's no state in more desperate need of federal help than West Virginia. It is in deep trouble. Coal is gone. They have they have nothing there that's good for them. The Build Back America program of Senator Biden is terrific for West Virginia. That's the only hope they have. How catastrophic would it be for the Democrats if they cannot find a compromise on these big policy issues and they don't get some big things done before the midterm elections? Well, I think they're going to get something done. I believe that uh, legislation, I repeat, is that we're to compromise. 
and they can ch no, change a few things and allow everyone to c declare victory and move on. It is time to get something done. Ooh, America's had enough of impasse. Time, if time for impasse is over with, we need to move forward. And no, no state what do you deserves think, this more than West Virginia. What do you think about the divisions in the Democratic Party right now? You know, the, the Progressive Caucus uh, uh, is, is opposed to bending either. They've drawn their own line in the sand. You know, AOC basically said, you know, if you don't pass, move both of these pieces of legislation forward at the same time, they are not going to vote for uh, uh, the, the, the basic infrastructure bill by itself or what do you think about the impact I, I believe there's, in the Democratic Party? I, I believe that this is a big enough program that needs to be passed that uh, AOC and the others will work out something. The state of New York, no state can benefit by having this legislation killed. We're at a time in the history of this country where we need economic vigor, something new. And uh, with climate change, the legislation that Biden's talking about would do more for climate change than anything that's even been discussed at this stage. Senator Harry Reid, thank you so much for your time tonight, sir. Charles, thank you very much for your good work in journalism. Today, President Biden took straight aim at unvaccinated Americans with sweeping new mandates. More on that story next. You're watching Prime on BNC.